So let's take a look at how to use Bootstrap in our React.js app. So I have already started a yarn and my React app is running right here. And I want to use, let's say, a Bootstrap button and let's say a few elements on my React app. So to do that, what I have to do is I have to simply go to Bootstrap and let's just say get a CDN address, okay? And there is one more way, but I will tell you that after this, okay? So first thing is to open your editor and open app.js from your source directory of React, okay? And find out the place where you want to create that element. Also in index.html, I'm going to add reference to this CDN. Okay, so you can see Starship. Okay, once you do that, you are ready to use any element on app.js. Any element that you drop in here will be immediately be displayed in our React app. Okay, so let's take a look at documentation for simple elements that we can build here. So let's see. I want to, okay, so I'm gonna use this uh, success or maybe warning or maybe both. So let's just say success to warning. You can copy and paste it here and we can do one thing can add break in each of them. So it will go to the new line instead of all the elements displayed on same page. Okay, so this is a simple example I can come up with uh, where I have simply used a CDN address. There is one more method for which we can use bootstrap. Okay, so first see if this method works. Okay, as you can see, my React app immediately responded by adding those through CDN. Now, if you want, you can add local instance for Bootstrap as well, along with your CDN, of course. So for local instance, what you can do is, let's just say, this is my project directory. And here I want to use uh, my React Bootstrap. So I'm going to use npm install and then use react dash bootstrap. Okay. And then space dash save. Okay. This will do the same thing that we did just now, and we will be able to use bootstrap element within our project. So you can choose this method to install React Bootstrap locally. And there is another method that we used here by using CDN address and then directly using the elements on the page.